president of Egypt, Mohamed Morsi, has promised that Egyptian forces will take control of the Sinai Peninsula after an attack on the border with Israel. Gunmen killed at least 16 Egyptian border guards. Israel says its air force killed at least five militants in an armored vehicle taken in the attack. A second vehicle exploded. The Israeli authorities said it was an attempt to carry out an attack on its civilians. This video, distributed by the Israeli army, shows an Egyptian military vehicle in flames. It's one of two that was seized by gunmen after they attacked a checkpoint on the Egyptian-Israeli border. One of the stolen army vehicles blew up at the crossing, while the other was destroyed by the Israeli Air Force. Officials say the attackers were dressed as nomadic Bedouin. Egypt has pointed the finger at Islamist militants, with President Mohamed Morsi vowing to bring the attackers to justice. <laughs> Egypt's president has met with military and security officials after suspected Islamic militants killed 16 Egyptian police officers in an attack on a checkpoint near the border with Israel. President Mohamed Mursi blasted the attack as cowardly and vowed to take back full control of Sinai. It's the first major security test for Mursi since he took up office at the end of June. Just now, orders were given to all of our forces, to the armed forces and police of the Interior Ministry, to mobilize in order to track them down and to arrest those who carried out this treacherous attack on our sons. This incident will not pass lightly. The armed forces will assume complete control over these areas of Sinai to secure them, and those who carried out the attack will pay a high price and all those who cooperated with them in this or other areas of Egypt. The Israeli military says it targeted two armored vehicles from the air. Egyptian police say Islamic extremists based in the Sinai may have been involved in the attack. Morsi is vowing to capture those responsible. Islamists and local tribal forces have become more active in the area since former President Hosni Mubarak's government collapsed last year. The number of kidnappings, attacks and other violent incidents in Sinai have soared in the past year. The main gas line supplying Israel has been attacked more than 14 times since 2011 and tourists have been abducted periodically. Under Egypt's peace treaty with Israel, Cairo is not permitted to station more than a few hundred troops near the border, allowing for a massive security vacuum. With Egypt's president taking office with massive challenges, this latest attack could prove to be his biggest test to date. <laughs> 